everyone, this is Ellie May with Swift Creek Customs, and I wanted to share with you two ways that you can open a PNG file for a print and cut. I'm also going to share how you can add to that PNG file by drawing around it with a shape tool and what you need to do to then create it as a print and cut. So I'm going to show two different ways here. The first way I'm going to come up to File, Open. I'm going to grab this PNG file here. If I move my mouse over it, it'll show that it's a PNG file. You want to make sure when you are working with PNG files that they are a high quality, high resolution image. So I'm going to double click on that to open it. I'm going to choose 300 DPI down here in this box. That means that when it opens the image, it will open it at 300 DPI if the image is 300 DPI. It cannot simply create the resolution if it's not there. So if you're working with a low resolution image, that is what you're going to open with. I'm going to select first this print and cut option. So I'm going to choose next. And then I'm going to choose next again. I'm just going to let the software trace it. And choose next again and finished. Now it's going to open at its original size. I'm going to simply just size this down for the example and move it onto my page. Now, red registration marks here mean something's wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little, the artboard here to expand it, and I'm simply going to toggle those page marks to the full page marks. Now, if I were to go to the Send tab right now, it's going to show me all artwork, and it's going to show me that I have a print. It's going to print the image I have on the screen, and then it is going to cut around that image as well because of the way I opened it and it traced it with the open as print and cut. I'm gonna come back here and I wanna show you how you can work with this even if you did open it this way and you do not want the individual text on the image to cut. If I wanted to add a shape around this, I'm simply going to draw a rectangle. So I'm gonna come down here to draw shapes, create a square or a rectangle and I'm going to draw that around my image. Now I have, I'm gonna make this image just a little bit smaller to work with. And adjust that. So it's all within my print and cut border. Now, if I close this artboard here, I have my rectangle selected. It is currently defaulted to print. If I click off here and I go to send, click on send, that means that my printout is going to print that rectangle and it's going to cut around my PNG file. That's not what I want. So I'm going to go back to the design tab, select my rectangle. I wanna change this default to a cut. When I do that, I'm going to click on send and now it shows I have my correct printout, but my cut contours still shows that it's going to cut around each individual letter. Since I opened it as a print and cut, that is when it traced around my PNG. I'm going to click on the PNG image. And what this is, is I'm going to open the layers panel here so you can see it. When you open as a print and cut, it opens and this baseball image is two parts. It is a print and a cut, which means it is color and it is a cut line. With this selected, I'm gonna come up to edit, release cut contours, and now you can see those two different parts of that print and cut. Here is my cut contour for the baseball. I do not need that. So if it's selected, I can move that out. I just use my arrow keys so you can see that. That is my cut line. This is my print. I can simply delete this. By pressing delete. And now when I go to the send tab, send, I have my printed artwork and I have my rectangle that I wanted to cut. That is one way you can open a PNG for print and cut in the Leonardo Design Studio software. The second way, I'm gonna open a new design mat. I'm gonna come up to File, Open. I'm going to select the same PNG file. And this time I'm going to choose Background Image. 
Then I'm going to choose next and it opens at the original size. I'm simply going to resize that down so it fits within my page size. Red marks mean something's wrong. So I'm going to come up here to my page marks and I'm going to toggle those on. And then I can, if I come up here to the send tab, what you're going to see here is a blank page. That is because I haven't told it to do anything yet. I've simply opened an image on my design mat. I'm going to come over here to the draw shapes tool. Again, draw a rectangle and I'm going to draw my rectangle. And then if I close this here, what I wanna show you here too is it's set to stroke. That's why you're not seeing it filled with color. So if you yours comes in filled with color, you can simply change it to stroke. The other thing here is currently this rectangle is set to default print. So if I come over here to the send tab, send, you're going to see nothing again because Leonardo at this point cannot print only. It is designed for print and cut. So it has to have both a print out part and a cut line in order to show on the send tab. I'm gonna select that rectangle. Over here, I can choose default, change that to a cut line, and then I'm going to click off of it to deselect everything. Then when I choose send, send again, now it shows my printed artwork that's going to print out on that page and my cut contour that is going to cut around the image. So there are two ways, I'm sure there's more than two ways, but these are two ways that you can open a PNG file and set it up for a print and cut in the Caesar Leonardo Design Studio software. Make sure to check the links in the description below for additional information. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications of future content. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.